for this video, we will focus for 3.2.2 in TJ and describe the advantage and disadvantage of credit card and ways to use it wisely. Untuk hari ini, kita akan sambung dengan Matematika SSM Tingkatan 3, Chapter 3, Consumer Mathematics, Its Savings and Investment, Credit and Debt. For this video, we will focus for 3.2.2 investigate and describe the advantage and disadvantage of credit card and ways to use it wisely. There are a few advantages of using a credit card. The first one, a card holder can make expensive purchase without having to pay the entire price at the time of the purchase. Second, a card holder do not have to carry a lot of cash with them to avoid tax or loss, so that means cashless. The third one is Card holders can track their expenditure based on the monthly statement. Some credit card companies provide free personal accident insurance and travel insurance. And there are also attractive schemes such as interest free installment, flexible repayment and transfer of balance at 0% such can allow card holder to maximize their purchase. Credit card companies offer incentive in the form of cash rebate and point a redemption for card holders. Card holders can also take advantage of interest rate through the multi-level pricing structured based on a good repayment record. There is the convenience of buying goods and services online. The last one. Each advantage of using a credit card. The first one incur extra charge like annual fee, finance charge, and cash advance interest charge. If full payment is not made every month, the interest or finance charge imposed will increase. Card holders will be charged loan interest late payment penalties and penalties for exceeding the credit limit. Interest is also charged on cash withdrawal made using a credit card. The second disadvantage of using a credit card over spending allows spending beyond our means and in an uncontrolled manner. And some retailers only accept cash payment. There are a few conditions of eligibility for a credit card. The first one, age 21st years and above. Next, minimum income of Ringgit Malaysia 24,000 per annum and meet other requirements. Card holders with salaries of Ringgit Malaysia 24,000 to Ringgit Malaysia 36,000 a year can hold credit cards from two credit card companies only. And the last one, a required salary slip or supporting document. 
the maximum credit limit given to card holders by each credit card company cannot exceed twice the monthly income. There are four safety aspects that card holders should be aware of. The first one, sign the credit card as soon as it is received. Do not give details to strangers. Keep the credit card in your wallet so that you will know it as soon as it goes missing. Memorize the PIN number of the credit card. Avoid writing down the PIN number on the back of the card. And check all transactions in the monthly credit card statement. There are several charges that can be imposed on card holders. The first one is joining fee. Second, annual fee. The third one, finance charge or interest. Next, fee for cash down payment. And late payment penalty. The last one, finance charge, fees and interest free period.